know that the other may exhibit reactive behavior depending on their level of understanding. So I'll set my expectation right. If my expectation is right, other does not have the understanding. So I can expect un or this indefinite behavior from the other. So I won't be bothered if they have indefinite behavior. At least I'll be comfortable that if they find they are in trouble, so that's how they are going to be. This is what they are going to do. I already know that. I won't be surprised by it. I won't be bothered by it. But that's not where I stop. I don't say that my responsibility ends there. So what, you know, I know that you know, this person is sick, so they will behave like this. What to do? You know? That's not where I will stop. I will wait for an opportunity when they are assured because of my you know, satisfying behavior. Because of my satisfying behavior, the other becomes assured of me. And then I will try or I will take the responsibility to improve the competence of the other. That is living with responsibility. Over here, very often we get, can we say, avoid, break relationship. First we try to avoid it. Avoid that person and if it doesn't work, then we say, okay, fine, you know. You go your way, I'll go my way. Yeah. So we can see that if I trust on intention, then in my daily, in my living, it will show up like this. That first of all, my behavior with that reactive person will not be reactive. I have understood that reaction does not stop reaction. And you can see on larger scale, war, does it stop war? Does it? So reaction does not stop reaction. So I trust on intention. My behavior is always satisfying for the other. And I know that the other person is going to be reactive because they may not have that understanding. That is why they are behaving like this. I can see that the other is upset, the other is excited. That is why they are behaving like this. They don't want to bother me, but they are bothering or they are exhibiting this behavior because they are upset themselves. <coughs> So I am not upsetting them, they are upset already. They are just taking it out. <coughs> because they don't know what to do with it. So if I already know that, it won't impact me. I will I will be able to see that they are not well. So I will try to help them. But when they are in that excited state, or when they are in that you know, angry state, they are not going to listen to me, I know that also. I won't go and tell them that, look, I know you are reacting, let me tell you how to respond. <laughs> Come on, sit down, I will help you. So this part, this first part, till we reach this 
that the other becomes assured of me. It takes some time. Yeah. And once the other is pulled down, in this we already know that this excitement cannot be sustained for a long time. And this anger or irritation or being upset also cannot be sustained for a long time. Because both are unnatural. So they will cool down after some time. That is why we say time is great healer. <laughs> we cool down after some time. So when that person has become assured of me, what do you think? That person's behavior in the future with me is going to be reactive or they are going to be, you know, not reactive with me, however reactive they may be with anybody else. If my behavior is definite and assuring for the other, they will not be reactive with me. They may be reactive five times, ten times like that. But after that they will understand that, you know, this guy is okay. And they will come to me with their problem also. So, once the other becomes assured of me, then I try to give some proposal. If I can help that person myself, then I will give the proposal myself. If I think that I can't give the proposals myself, then I might say, okay, you know, I am going for this workshop, you come to you know, with me, something like that. You know. but I try to improve, the, I have that concern and I take responsibility for you know, doing something about that concern. I don't leave it at this, you know, at this place where I should put it. I don't leave it by just uh, ignoring that person, avoiding that person. I am going to make this program based on right evaluation of my competence and the other's competence. If I don't do this part, then this program is going to fail. So a lot of times what happens is that, like Ganeshi was telling this example of this I can't put professor. He goes on the fourth, fifth day. He went and called his wife and, you know, I understand your problem. You doubt my intention. <laughs> Without evaluating my own competence, I go around doing this part. That doesn't work. So if we are doing all this, what is happening is that also of regret. effort for this, I am full of joy, I am clear about what I have to do, 
in any situation. I am clear what I have to do. And I am doing that. We can find out what, where we are and what, where we want to be. That's why, you know, the, all the time this is being said that let us find out about ourselves and start from ourselves, from me. of the person and the action of the person. So the intention of the person is okay. The person is okay. His intention is okay. His action may or may not be okay. That depends on his competence. But his intention is always correct. That's exactly right. So if I am exhibiting this reactive behavior, there is no improvement in my competence. Because I have already decided right here, I am okay. Whereas, if I am responsive and I am correctly evaluating my competence and the competence of the other, for the first time I can see that, you know, that I need to improve my competence. my competence as well as improvement of competence of other. No improvement in my competence 
and no improvement in others' competence. In fact, we see this, this would be going, you know, downward spiral, negative spiral, keep, keep becoming worse and worse. Whereas this would keep on improving, becoming better and better. What do you think? You know, the teachers who are here, from five years ago to now, or last year to this year, whatever you can observe, has this reactive behavior in the students gone up or it has become less reactive? You can observe it. And the students can also tell about teachers. Both sides going up. Because we are doing this. If we are doing this, then this is what is going to happen. Not only no improvement, it is going to be becoming worse and worse. I am very just putting no improvement. So you can see for ourselves, where do we want to be? We want to have responsive behavior or reactive behavior? Responsive. Responsive. That is very clear. We can evaluate for ourselves. Like at the end of the month, what are we actually able to calculate at the end of the day? Bank balance, how many of you check your bank balance? You check this part. Right? This part everybody is checking. Right? Are we checking this also? No. We can check it. We can find out, you know. How much percentage of my behavior was reactive? How much of it was responsive? So let us say I had 25% of this behavior and 75% of this behavior. Yeah, because it depends on my right understanding. If I am working on this, <laughs> See, what we are saying is very simple. That understanding, then your imagination or thought, and then the behavior or work. This is what is happening. What we are observing is only this part. <laughs> we are observing and mostly we are not observing our behavior, we are observing the other fellow's behavior. <laughs> yeah? And when the other person gets hurt one or two or four times then that person says something and he says, oh you got hurt? I did that, I said that, I didn't mean it actually. I don't even remember that. <laughs> so we are observing this, but this is going on all the time and this is what we are working on. This is definite. This is driven, if it is driven by this understanding, then this will also be definite. And this will also be definite. What is happening is that we are not really aware of this understanding. Our thought and all that is either through preconditioning or through sensation. Driven through that, so our behavior and work is also like that. Like this. So that is the... So we can find out. But all I am saying is that you know, at the end of the month, we are doing lot of calculation, you know. All my deductions and all my salary and, you know, interest from the bank. We have long list of that. Yeah? No? What about this? You can find out. Similarly, you can find out that one also. What Ganeshi has drawn that, that picture, I think it is gone now. We can see for ourselves, if our thoughts are like that, you know, like that kind of thinking.
more organized. We can find out. For example, for students, you can ask this question. When you are reading your chemistry or whatever some subject, chemistry was not my favorite subject. So take. When you are reading your book for one hour, how much time your attention is on the book, what is written in the book, and how much time your attention is somewhere else? Right? So if you are going from here to here, in that one hour, your almost full hour can be on the book. In fact, you will finish reading that in 10 minutes. We had one student in Baba Banda Singh Sahib. He had 27 supplementaries. <laughs> and he cleared 21 of them in one semester. Amazing. So you can keep track of all these things. Not necessary only to keep. You know how to keep track of this. You can keep track of these other two things also. <coughs> So I just wanted to draw your attention to what is reaction and what is response through this video. In this video, most of the interaction was reactive interaction. And what is naturally acceptable to us is the responsive interaction, responsive behavior, which is born out of right understanding and right feeling in myself. And therefore, we are not expecting any kind of, you know, we are not expecting somebody else to respect or somebody else to trust, etc. if they don't have the right understanding. Whereas over here we keep on expecting. Wrong expectations. You can set the expectations right. So we'll take a break and come back and hold it.